CP Attic here at Firewire LEDs in Mooresville, Indiana. Uh, we came up 900 miles to visit with Brian on some of his products. Uh, in some of our other videos, you've seen the 9007s, 30 inch light bar, and, and a few other of your products. Uh, we're kind of going to go over today your rock light kits that you sell. Um, this one being the RGB kit where it can RGBW. RGBW. Is that correct? This, this product is going to be kind of a multi-use, if you will, sure. product from just having fun with your truck to actually being able to, to utilize it. Um, in fact, I, I think later you're going to do an install video with us. Uh, we're going to put a set of them on my Hallmark camper. So when I'm out boondocking, I have some light around, around the base of my camper where I can see, where I don't have to worry about getting snake bit or things which sure. I can't see at night, but the the voltage and amperage draw is so nil that my solar panel will, will keep up with it. So we've sold quite a few sets. These are in fact on my SEMA Bronco project. It's a set of blue ones yep. for that project and you pretty much go blind uh, when, when, when you're looking at them. Um, Chris Nelson, came down to, to wire in my Bronco and of course you know we were playing with these lights and coming up with them and all that. And I'm kind of bending my bracket for my light so I can get the angle under the fender well right and shine on the suspension and, and get it all right. And so I'm tightening the bracket down and he's testing all the circuits for the lights to make sure everything's going to work properly. And I'm staring directly at the one in my hand when he, he, lit, he lights it up. And I swear for like two days all I could see was blue spots in my yeah. eyes because they are, they are that incredibly bright. Um, if you don't mind, kind of give us some some details on these. You know, I mean, a lot of this stuff people have equated from the past and the neons and the underglows from like Fast and the Furious. Sure. You know, and yes, I know Hector's running three spoon engines <laughs> in his truck. Oh, well, we're not a Harris. So. Right. Well, and there, we have no Motec exhaust <laughs> around, that. but. These are, these are a long way removed from the old underglows and the just, but these are also fun and useful. Even, even, you know, from a farm truck to a show truck, these can be useful. And we wanted to bring these out for our customers to, to see the, the useful side, the fun side, the quality, how you build them, what goes into the development of them the different uses for them, things like that. So if you don't mind kind of telling us about the lights and how you came up with them. Sure. Like that. Absolutely. So as you said, you know, we all like to go out and have fun Friday night or whatever, um, chilling out by the fire, whatever. Um, but there's a lot of times you need to see around your truck, you know, if it gets dark and, and you haven't set up your tent yet, kick those on, you can see. Well, and like a lot of the newer trucks have like the puddle lights and all the BS lights all over the truck where you can see. And our customers know that we're in the OBS market and the technology, these were work trucks. They, they weren't, they weren't uh, go to town on Saturday night trucks or, or uh, they weren't a status symbol to own one of these. these. These were work. So this now allows you to have more function out of your older truck. Absolutely. And, and make it closer to a new truck. Sure. But with, with better technology, I think. Oh yeah. You know. yeah. So there's a lot of technology that goes into to our rock lights. Um, you know, you have like the ones we done on the Bronco, yeah. just a single color, two wire, plug them in, yep. they're on or off. Um, these are the RGBWs. We actually, the W actually stands for white. So it, these actually have a pure white. You know, you get a lot of the RGBs that they use the red, the blue, and the green to create a white. Well, it's more of a 3D, horrible looking white. Yeah. It, it's not, it's just not attractive. And it's really not that useful. I mean, you just see shadow stuff. So we actually implemented the white function. So if you go white, it's pure white. It's a usable, bright white line. Um, and the RGBWs, instead of having 65 switches to try to, you know, do all the colors, you know, we just use an app. Okay. So on this kit, you, it comes with everything. It's plug and play. It's full lifetime warranty. But then all you have to do is run to your battery. So, so basically, with the app, like you said, you just get your phone out and yep. you can change whatever. Yep. Just connect your Bluetooth to it, turn it off, go through the colors. Set it to music. You can have the color wheel. You can pick what you want. If you were, if you're using this truck on the side of the road, you break down on the side of the road because you do a lot of traveling. In yeah. case that was ever happened, you can set it to amber and white to flash back and forth. 
Really? So there's a lot of different functions you can do with it. Well, and, and I've actually used a couple of different sets too as load lights sure. on, on my trailers because they're flat, they're small, and they project out plenty of enough light and they're not in my way. Right. You know, yeah. you know and, and that's the other thing behind um, how we built these. I'll take some out here. Um, well, all other cool stuff comes with these. So you got all your hardware, and then this is your Bluetooth box. Um, and then it actually has a scan, so you can just scan that. So it pulls it right up. And you don't have to go searching for it. Well, and, and show it on the box here, you all, you have it for Apple and Android. Absolutely. Although Absolutely. we know Android is superior. Absolutely. So. <laughs> so what we've done with these, we try to make them as durable as possible. So we use an all aluminum housing. I okay. mean, you've seen some that are plastic, you've seen some that right. are bubbled up. These are super thin. I mean, this is a half inch thick. We use polycarbonate lens. So if you put them in the wheel wells, if you put them under your truck, they're going to get beat up. Right. You know, right. So you want them to last, absolutely. You know, we, a ton of Jeeps, ton of who knows what. And like you said earlier, trailers. They work great on trailers. Mount these up, the only thing you got to worry about is the line. Yeah. So that's, well, that's like on my trailer, I, I have this up on the neck. Kind of, you know, I, I know you can't see this, but facing out at the trailer like that, sure. that's a perfect. Right. And in fact, on, on my Bronco, we have. Your solid color lights are built the same way. We took it and made a little bracket where we could down fire it and, and angle it. So they're very universal. You can do just about anything you want with them to, to make them so, work for your needs. Absolutely. And so many people love them. We actually have multiple different versions of this with different circuit boards inside. So we use them as a safety light. We actually have a two color strobe. And there's multiple different, different uh, variations. So it, it, like like with your other lights that we've gone through uh, today in, or, or in our other videos, they're a very utilitarian light. Absolutely. But they're also at the same time, they're something that you can have a little fun with. Go to the car show, show off, but you know, broke down the side of the road, you can turn them to flashing. You can turn them to white if you're at a campsite at night and you, and you want to sit around the campsite and have some light, but don't want to draw your battery down because if you don't want the key on on the truck, and blah, 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 I mean, I can keep going on and on. So, so on our shop Jeep, um, we actually run four of these on there, and I've run them 12, 14, 18 hours, and never had an issue. So let's see, and um, I think you said that um, we're going to do an install video, putting them on the camper and how to wire them in, and, and how the app works, and how the functionality of it all works on it. And kind of kind of show the the utilitarian side and the fun side of them, sure. and then you know, like you said, the, the draw on them is very minimal, so you don't have to worry about killing your battery in your truck. You know, older older trucks, the wiring sometimes is not the best, especially when it's lived its whole life in salt and things Absolutely. like that. So Absolutely. you don't want to have to worry about am I going to cause damage to my truck by hooking something like this up? And the, the best thing about it, it's it's kind of like the rest of your products. It's all. Absolutely. You simply mount this under the hood, or close to a battery, the power on the ground, and plug it in. So is this, like your other products, is this waterproof and, it is. and sealed and you, you should not have to worry about this, nope. right? Correct. Nope. You can put that in. Um, on, on these lights, because a while ago I was mistaken on one of the lights, what are the warranty? Those are full lifetime warranty. So these are these are lifetime warranty, just like all the rest of your lights. If I break it, bust it, whatever it comes down to. Call us, I call you. Okay. You're there to stand behind it. So awesome. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time, you know, out of your busy day My to to go over this, also to do installs with us, and uh, we're really looking forward to those other videos. So Absolutely. Thanks for your time. As always, guys, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have a product you want us to review, a truck you would like us to do um, a video on, or just anything that's uh, OBS related, feel free to shoot us an email, info at cpattic.com, or drop a line in the comment section. Thanks.